Hello guys. Well now I am going to explain you how exactly to grip the ball for a basic flipper. Well actually the gripping for a basic googly or a basic leg break or a basic top spinner is one and same. For the, for a basic flipper the gripping is a slightly different from those grippings. Well actually the gripping for a basic googly or a basic leg break will be in this way. Well if you look at my grip you can see the thumb can be switched on or switched off. Well because the thumb will not play a major role in spinning the ball. Well in basic leg break what we are going to do is we are going to spin up the ball in this way. Spin up the ball in slant direction. Okay. So for that the ring finger and these two support fingers index and middle are the key but not the thumb. Okay because you are spinning the ball in up direction okay in up direction when you ball a leg break But here in flipper, the gripping will be in this way with a slight difference. Well, in flipper, the thumb will be switched on always because the releasing will be different. I mean, it will be quite different from a basic leg break. Well, as I said now, just now, the basic leg break release will be like this. Really, you are going to release the ball. I mean, you are going to spin up like this. But in flipper, what you are going to do is you are going to release the ball little bit in flatter way okay in horizontal forward direction like this okay like this okay to do this the thumb will play a major role in order to move the ball in horizontal forward direction or you can say in flatter direction the thumb will have to be switched on always okay so with the help of the thumb the ring finger okay the ball will be able to be released in flatter way like this okay just like what you are going to do is in flipper you are going to click the fingers okay you need to practice like this click the fingers like this click the fingers okay with the help of thumb and with the help of the ring finger you are, glue, you are going to click the fingers and this is the phenomena you are going to do when you are I mean when you are ready to ball a flipper okay or when you are ready to release the ball okay like this like this like this like this okay like this you are going to release the ball little bit flatter in horizontal forward direction okay without flight okay this is the reason why we use the thumb as a major role in balling the flipper and finally the gap if you can see the gap there will be a and you can say there should be a enough gap between the palm and the ball unlike in basic leg break i mean you are not going to see a enough gap between the palm and ball okay in leg break the grip will be like this okay there is no gap between the ball and palm i mean a big gap or you can say enough gap okay but in flipper i mean in when you are going to grip the ball for a flipper there will be a enough gap like this because to ball a flatter little bit little bit flatter you have to have a a small gap not big gap but a small gap or you can say enough gap between the ball and palm okay like this so what you are going to do is when you ball a flipper you are going to click the fingers like this okay see you're going to do see I'm going to show you in opposite direction like this like this like this okay like this like this okay okay like this and this is the same phenomenon which, which you are going to do when you are balling a flipper okay
this is the way you need to grip the ball for a flipper okay like this okay we are going to release the ball like this it moves in this direction in backward direction along with the seam okay like this like this or like this you can see okay we are going to click the fingers like this see like this like this okay this is the phenomena which you are going to do for a basic flipper okay of course different ballers will have different types of flippers for a basic flipper this is the phenomena which we use okay hope you have understood the concept of gripping the flipper well actually in order to skid the ball or you can say to click the ball with your fingers in forward direction without much flight the position of the arm has to be maintained at an angle of less than 60 degrees and also the position of the wrist has to be maintained in such a way that the back of the palm will have to face the sky and now in order to make sure the position of the arm to maintain at an angle of less than 60 degrees the direction of front leg has to be towards the fine leg region or leg slip region and also at the same time the direction of chest or you can say position of the chest has to be towards the backward square leg region or leg gully region well since you are going to skid the ball by clicking the fingers in forward direction the ball along with the seam facing towards the batsman will try to rotate in backward direction even from this angle you can see how nicely the ball with the direction of position of the seam facing towards the batsman is trying to spin in backward direction which finally skids or rushes into the batsman after heating the pitch